Hi there, it's Terrain 1102, and I just wanted to show you my, wake, my workstation, which is actually my kitchen table, because unfortunately I do not have any, like, special workstation because my apartment's too small. Now, today was, um, a little haul. Well, I mean, yeah, it's little. Um, I got the drying rack, which is over here. This is the drying rack. I got the paint brushes which were $15 off of, um, what's it called, uh, Dolls by Sandy. Um, I also got the dropper for the odorless paint thinner, so this way when I go and I, uh, so this way I don't have to keep on using it, I can just put it in this one, and, and then it'll be easier to pour out. Um, I bought a porcelain mixed paint dish. I was going to get the glass one, but I just thought that porcelain would be better because it has a lot of, of different palettes that I can go and put paint in and I don't have to constantly wipe it off. Um, this is the eyebrow pencil. I decided that um, I wanted to get an eyebrow pencil so I could do eyebrows. Um, also I got tacky glue which is for gluing, for gluing magnets, gluing the head, um, gluing the hair on the head, the um, rooting. Um, I also got a um, I got a half an ounce of light auburn hair, which I originally, what, what happened was is I bought three different, um, mohairs. I bought this mohair, which is from Expresso Designs, and the only problem that I felt that was wrong with the, with the design, I mean, with the Expresso Design hair, was that it is so messy, and also... You know, it just, I just don't like it, to be honest. I don't like it at all. I think it's just, I, I, I like the hair color. I mean, but the, it, it wasn't even tied. I mean, this one's not even tied either, but, you know, I don't know how, the, how I'm going to work with this. I mean, this is going to be hard to work with because it's not tied. I did get a, another mohair in, which is, hold on a minute. As you can see in the closet, I know, you can't really see. In the closet is all my Reborn. That's my halogen oven right there. And this is all the Reborn stuff. I just want, I'll get it out so I can show you. Hold on a minute. Hello. <laughs> okay, um, this is the stuffing. Bag of stuffing. Um... This is the five pounds of black um, beads um, for the glass beads. Here's some tie wraps. They are larger. I don't know if I'm going to be able to use them, but it's okay. Um, this is the E600 glue. It has an odor to it. Some people like to use this. Some people like the tacky glue. The only reason why I use this is because they said that it's really good for gluing magnets. And it's also good for gluing the rooting as well. I don't know what I'm going to use. I have two of them, so it's better. I have size 3 diapers. I got in the mail for free. I figure if I get a reborn, I mean a um, toddler baby which I'm getting a toddler baby, um, Ladybug, she's a nine month old, and maybe she'll fit in there, those. If she doesn't, then I'll just save them, maybe I'll sell them, I don't know. Uh, this is just my sewing kit, my needles, um, some googly eyes, just stuff that I had since I was a, since I was in high school. These are just bags to put the, um, glass beads in. I'm doing smaller glass beads, only, like, I won't make them too heavy because, you know, I'm not going to go and make it too heavy. Um, this actually came from, from, from Pam. This is, uh, glass beads, and also, um, this is, this is, um, Gracie's hair. I wanted to keep it as a memory of her hair. I don't know. I'm weird. Uh, this is the black felt. Basically, the black felt is going to be for behind the nose. I felt, I'll just use the other side because this side is, the other side is sparkly, so I'll use this side. Um, oh, this is the hair that I got from in the mail. This is, on um, the ruby red newborn hair. This is Auburn, and it looks kind of like the other one. Although, it's a little bit, this is a little bit lighter than that one, so I can't really use both of them. 
So I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. Um, somebody gave me um, the person who who gave me who um, went and and I bought the newborn hair from. She gave me a wafer and she gave me some socks and a and some booties and a hat for my babies because um, she had a personal issue and she couldn't um, go and. Um, send it out right away. Um, this is the washcloth to wash the babies. I also have Johnson Johnson's baby shampoo, which I don't have to show. And just these are, this is the, um, stocking to put the beads in after, after the plastic bag and after, and then you put the plastic bag in here and then you close it and you knot it up so this way, you know, it doesn't, this way it stays good and then you just put it inside the body. Um, I got a kit in the mail. Basically what it is, is it's, um, a Behringer kit. Hold on a minute. Let me just, let me just go and put this away. Uh, the Behringer kit is a sleeping kit. It's a, um, it's a retired kit, so it's not really going to be, you know, perfect. Um, I'll show you everything else. Hold on. Hey. Okay. okay, this is the Behringer kit. There's the legs. And there's the arms. And here's the head. This is the head. And she gave me eyes with it. I'll show you the eyes. This is the other hand. It smells just like plastic. And there's the little feet. And here's the eyes. I don't know what I'm going to do because, see, this is the problem. The back of the head needs to be cut out. So that means I'm going to need to use, like, an exacto knife or something. I don't know what I'm going to do because I'm definitely afraid of knives. So maybe I'll go to my brother's and I'll just ask my brother to cut a hole. And then what I'll do is I'll put inside of it stuffing inside the head after I root it because I'm doing this I'm gonna make this baby I think it's so cute it's a cute little baby I'm gonna make her she's so adorable she looks like my old Claire I think she is Claire I'm not sure she might be Claire but she looks so adorable and I, I wanna go and reborn her I think she would be really really cute I also got this I don't know 2012 calendar that was not nice of her well, that's sweet and oh, I bought I bought the art of sculpting, which is the 2010-2011 edition. And basically, it has tutorials and product guides for uh, questions and answers with Pat Seacrest for beginners and professionals. And it has a whole bunch of things. Um, I also got the um, legs for the um, yeah, the, I mean the body for for the Behringer. It's it's not that great. I mean, it's very um old so it has some stains on it and there's a diaper for her which I thought was so cute because look it's so tiny oh my god it's newborn this makes me want to have a baby but I can't right now just me and my hubby are waiting so this is my way of waiting doing all this reborn stuff and and making babies for people who can't have babies or people that want a reborn that's lifelike and I it's not gonna be expensive because I feel this is my whole purpose. I want to do reborns because I want to be able to have people be able to afford it and I'm going to put the same amount of time and same amount of effort that other people do but people have to be very very understanding that making reborns takes time and I'm not making any customs as of yet because I don't even know what's going to go on in the next few days. I'm waiting for my paints. I'm waiting for my, my, um, I'm waiting for my kits to come in, my ladybug kit, my blinking kit, and I haven't gotten everything yet, as you can see. You know, I'm, I'm waiting. These are my test babies. This is my test baby, and those are the, those are the test kit arms and legs. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to do everything. And after I'm done, I will show you my reborns that are made. And I will go and I will do step-by-step -step process. I'll show you what, um, how to make them. I'll show you, I'll show you what to use. I'll show you everything. So, um, yeah, that's it about, yeah. Okay, well, um, hope everybody's well. And I hope you guys didn't get drawn out and bored from this video. All right, take care.